marveled at all the small wonders of the world. Jumping into a pond of water, being drenched and wet, while laughing out of pure glee and joy, awing at the first snowflakes of the year, while wishing for something great for Christmas. I don't know what happened between the time we were children and now, but the world around us is actually pretty much the same, even when slightly changed. While we are actually the ones that have significantly changed, and perhaps that did change everything for us. Because in the end, it's our perception that shapes our reality, right? Well, I love watching the stars at night because no matter where, when or how much time has passed, they are still the same stars. The same stars you have once watched as a child. And in a sense, that keeps the hope burning in me. The hope that like back in the days, we can fall head over heels with life again. Lately, I've been pondering movies a lot and reflecting on why people love them so much. One might say that they serve as fuel to escape into different realities. Realities that allow you to experience things you might never feel or see. But is this why movies were truly created in the first place? I have a different theory. Instead, I believe they were desperate attempts to capture the essence of elusive moments. Moments that cannot be spoken about, but only felt. Like the first rays of sunshine after a long period of darkness. Or the reflection of blurry lights when it's raining. Movies urge us to be present, to savor the moment. The moments we tend to overlook in our everyday lives. Being occupied with worrying minds. While they have been playing in front of us all along. <laughs> the funny thing is, we are constantly, desperately searching for the next great movie, the next great series. Meanwhile, we overlook that the best movie we will ever watch is the movie of our life. No matter how many cameras we own or create, the best cameras will always be our own eyes. No matter how hard we try to make things real, 3D, 4D, virtual reality, the most incredible sensations are already in our possessions. Feeling, smelling and tasting in this very moment. While we are trying so hard to relate to certain characters, the person we will relate with and feel most aligned to is literally ourself. And the best part, the movie isn't something scripted out perfectly, but rather an interactive game where you are the first person narrator and watcher of. So yes, you can say that you are the main character of your life, but I would go far beyond that because this isn't only a movie you're watching, a movie you can replay and restart, but a theatrical play that can be only watched once, acted upon on now. I know there are hurdles, obstacles and suffering, but let's think about movies for a second. Aren't the greatest movies the ones where the hero faced many challenges? Leave Leaving us grasping for air because of the thrill, but somehow making it out alive and conquering it all in the end. The movies with the most plot twists, emotional roller coasters, and unexpected endings are the ones we feel most attracted to. So let's apply this perspective more often in our lives. Forget even about movies, make it a whole series, heck no, maybe even multiple series and movies with different plots and different characters. How wonderful it is to not only be a director, but also actor and watcher of it all. <laughs> I'm not saying never watch movies or series again, because in the end we can learn so much from them. So maybe realize when you watch them that they are part of your own individual movie as well. I've always loved animals, especially birds. However, when I was younger, I used to believe 
that being an animal must be so boring and mundane because you do not have the ability to dream or fantasize to imagine fantastic futures and having the wildest dreams and to pursue them how good all this sounds right but what we are actually doing is escaping our current reality the present moment the now when this moment is actually all there is and that is when I realized that animals were always one step ahead of us. Because no matter how intelligent our species claims to be, we worry and think more than to actually simply be. Meanwhile, birds are flying, taking in every sensation, embracing this moment, because that is all there is to them. Of course, they have needs and desires too, but they do not overthink them in the matter we tend to constantly do. And maybe, just maybe, this is deeply rooted in the need for comparing ourselves to others and their lives. I mean, some birds also fight for the hierarchy and their mates. But look at dogs, for instance. They are always so excited about all the small moments in life. Even if you give them the same food every day, they act like it's the best thing they will ever taste. Perhaps they already understood that the only individual you have to actually compare yourself with is yourself. And that all these worries and doubts we constantly have are actually illusions that we've made up in our heads. Because ultimately, it doesn't change the situation, right? So answering the question on how to fall in love with life again is actually so simple and yet profound. But it's often the most obvious principles that we tend to overlook. And that is to live life like it's a wonder. Like you are able to die at any moment. And to realize that all these problems and worries you have are actually quite insignificant in the grand scheme we call universe. Basically, it is to change your narrative. To do all the things you have loved and loved before society told you who you need to be to be accepted in this world before you dimmed your light to fit into specific category before the world decided that simply being is not enough because no matter how much money, people or material possessions we own or chase we all have the same goal in the end to find happiness and peace within and to make this life worthwhile while we can. So become not only observer but also director of this wonderful movie we call Life Again. <laughs> and always remember every single day holds the power to change your life.